Hello and welcome to the Trimble Business Center to Works Manager Workflow. In the following few moments, we're going to show you how you can publish a single file format from Trimble Business Center through Works Manager to your field system, such as SiteWorks, Earthworks, and even Groundworks. The process begins in the office with Trimble Business Center, where you can review your data, you can prep your data, model your data, and then you're going to publish that data through Works Manager out to Trimble SiteWorks or Earthworks. You'll also notice that we do have an alternate method if you don't have connectivity to use a USB uh, thumb drive to send the data from Business Center directly to a field device. You can also use that same USB stick to go from one device to another device. Let's go ahead and take a look. So there are some key steps before we can get started publishing data from Business Center to Works Manager. The first one, of course, is to create a Business Center project and prepare your data for publication. You also will have to configure your external Works Manager profile. Now, once you configure this profile, that profile will be stored within your Business Center software application. You then, using the Construction Data tab, can open Works Manager directly from Trimble Business Center, or you could just open Works Manager directly from your web browser. Within Works Manager, you're gonna create and define a project and a project boundary. And then you can go back to Business Center and from within Business Center, you can connect to that Works Manager project, create your Works Manager design from Business Center and publish it to Works Manager. Then you can go to your field device, whether it's SiteWorks or Earthworks, and you can sync. And when you sync, you will bring down the data that we've published from Business Center to Works Manager. And then you can begin your grading or stakeout or construction operation. And we're going to demonstrate that here. The configuration of the external profile is done from the support tab, clicking on options, and then configuring the external services profile. Now, this is using your Trimble ID or your Trimble Works Manager um, login uh, credentials. And we're gonna demonstrate that here. All right, so now that we're in Business Center, we've started our project, we've prepared our data, we have our line work, our utility network, and our surface model, as well as even our control points. And we wanna get this data out to the field. So the first thing we need to do is go to the support tab, go to options, and when we click on options, we're gonna to go to the external services profile under the general category. Within here, we're gonna create a service profile. You can see I already have one for my Trimble Connect and my Works Manager. So I've already have this set up, and like I said, you only have to set this up the first time, and it will stay within your uh, version of Business Center. Now, if you upgrade Business Center uninstall Business Center or fix your computer, you'll have to do this again. So to show you how to create it, you're gonna come over here to the right, you're gonna select Create. You're gonna choose Works Manager from the list. You're gonna give it a name, so maybe this is your company name, and then click OK. Then you're gonna fill in your credentials. Your username would be your email from your Trimble ID login, as well as the password uh, for those credentials as well. What you wanna do is test your settings. So I'm gonna come over here to this one that I already have set up. I'm gonna select test settings. That's gonna con uh, confirm that your credentials are correct and you can log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in now and you can see now I'm signed in. So I'm gonna click okay to that. And again, like I said, you only have to do that the first time. All right, so now that we've got our connection to Works Manager and our profile configured, I can go to the construction data tab and we can start creating a Works Manager project. So the first thing you can do is click on Works Manager and what that will do is open up Works Manager in a web browser. From here, it's gonna take you directly to your projects and you're gonna be able to create a new project. So I'm gonna come in here and give it a new project name. Now, because I have multiple accounts, I am going to come down here and choose the account I want this project created in. In most cases, you're only gonna have your account in a single account. So I'm just gonna call this TBC dash works manager to SiteWorks demo, and we'll call it demo one. And I'll go ahead and click next. 
Now we're going to be able to come in here and enter in a boundary or draw a boundary around our project. So if you happen to know the address of your project, you can just start typing it in. And when you select that address location, it's going to zoom you to your project location. So from here, I can draw in my project boundary. I'm just going to start clicking a few spots around my project and I'm going to make mine a little bit larger um, and I'm going to click close. I'm going to make it a little bit larger than my project just in case we have a staging area and when your equipment fires up in the morning and it'll start reporting in and as long as that assets within this boundary it'll be able to report in and start synchronizing to the um, uh, project. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. Here is the configuration files. So if I had a site cal or control points, I could upload them at this time. Since I don't, I'm just gonna skip that and I'm gonna click finish. So as I mentioned, um, now that I have my project, if my assets were within this project boundary, they would start reporting in. I'm just gonna go ahead and add my device. So I know that this crew and this tablet is gonna be out there on that project. So I'm gonna add them to this particular project. Right now, you'll notice that there's no designs and we're gonna show you how to do that and add a design here in a minute. So I'm gonna go back to Business Center now. And now that I've got that project created within Business Center, when I go to Works Manager Project, I'm gonna be able to choose my account just like you saw a minute ago. And I'm gonna be able to come in here and pick the project that I just created in Trimble Works Manager. I'm gonna click OK. Now I can come over here and resolve some of the configuration file information. The first thing that I will, re will resolve is the project boundary. You can see here that I can publish it from Business Center to Works Manager, or I can import it or adopt it from Works Manager. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on adopt and you can see there's that project boundary that I just created. I don't have a site calibration, so I'm gonna skip this one, but I am going to send out the units and I'm gonna publish my units from Business Center to Works Manager so that my field crew uses the right units. Once I do that, I'll now add the control points. So I sent the crew out there and they don't have the control points to do the site cal. So I'm gonna add them to uh, the project through Business Center. So I'm gonna click on the plus minus. I'm gonna select by layer. I'm gonna choose my points layer and I'm gonna add those five control points to my project. And then I'm gonna click on resolve. And that's gonna publish these control points to my works manager project. Now that I have that, the last thing to resolve is any avoidance zones. Um, I don't have any in this case, so I'm just gonna click on resolve. I'm gonna publish that as well. So now that I have all this information published, I can close this and let's go back to works manager and take a look at what happened. When I go to my settings for my project, you can see that my control points have been uploaded and my site caliber or my site configuration information. But again, I don't have a calibration file. So now we can go to SiteWorks and take a look at bringing this data into our SiteWorks project. So I'm going to go into SiteWorks. And once in SiteWorks, I'm going to go down to my data management, my connected uh, community settings for my connected community, and I'm gonna start synchronizing. On the first synchronization, when I go to the project, you can see there is the new project that I just created from Works Manager and publishing to Business Center, or from Business Center. And now that it's brought in my data, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And now I can go over and start or create that project or change that project. So now I can come in here go into that demo one, and let's go ahead and create a new work order called SiteCal. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna tell it to calibrate the site and using those control points, I don't have a design at this stage, so I'm gonna skip that, I'm gonna click accept. We'll accept our avoidance zone, and now I've got my control points, so my field crew is gonna go and they're gonna perform a site calibration. So once my crews perform the calibration, I can go to Works Manager and I can add that calibration by going to the settings to my project. 
So I'm gonna come in here and go into my project and then my tablet. I'm gonna add that calibration file to the project. And then I can go back in the Business Center and I can import that calibration into Business Center. So now that I'm back in the Business Center, I'm gonna go into the Works Manager project again. And in the Works Manager project, I'm gonna go ahead and resolve my site calibration. And I'm going to adopt the calibration from Works Manager. Now that I have brought in that calibration, I just want to resolve my project boundary. Again, adopting it from Works Manager, as well as resolving the control points. So again, I'm gonna adopt those control points from Work Manager. Now you can see their control points and my Works Manager project has resolved any issues that I, uh, that I had. Now I'm ready to publish my design. So I can go to the Create Works Manager Design. We'll start by giving it a name. We'll call it Finished Grading. I'll click OK. We'll select our model, which in this case is a surface. You can see that we can use alignments, road surface, 3D line work, um, and other information. I'm gonna choose finished ground, which is my finished ground surface. I don't have any stakeout points, but if I did, I could select those here. And then my design map is going to be all my line work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my points layer, and I'm just gonna select all the line work that I need for my stakeout and grade checking. We're gonna add that. Now I'm just gonna simply publish to Works Manager. Once that design has been published, you'll get a um, notification. I'll click OK, and then I can close my Works Manager project. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Works Manager. And if we go to the designs of my project, you can see now I've got that finished grading VCL file, that single file format that now my SiteWorks and Earthworks and other units and devices can connect into. So let's take a look at this in SiteWorks now. So I'm gonna go back to SiteWorks. I'm gonna go into my data management, connected community and resynchronize to Works Manager. So once my synchronization has been successful, I can click okay. And we can then go up and load in the new project. So if I come up here and I change my project, I'm gonna create a new work order for this. It's going to be stakeout and grade check. Again, I can give it, you know, the instructions on what I want them to do. I'll go ahead and click finish. And now you can see when I come in here, I can grab that finished grading design and that project that we just sent to Works Manager and synchronized down to SiteWorks. So again, you can do this with SiteWorks, with Earthworks. Um, the process would be similar within Earthworks of synchronizing the project and the design into your system. So that's basically the process of taking data from Business Center and sending it to Works Manager and synchronizing it with your field systems, whether it's SiteWorks or Earthworks or um, other, uh, other devices that you may have. Now, there are a few other tools that are available. Um, there is the ability to publish a Works Manager project in field data to a USB drive. So if in the case you don't have connectivity um, to the field, you can still use the USB drive like we mentioned. Um, and if you don't have internet access on your, your desktop or connectivity to Works Manager at the time that you create your designs, you can always create your designs offline and then you can publish them when you actually do have connectivity. So again, just another way of managing your data from Business Center uh, to Works Manager. So we hope this video has been helpful for you to understand the process of going from Business Center to Works Manager out to the field. And if you have any more questions or further questions, contact your local SciTech dealer and they'll be happy to help you.